Okay. Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a fantastic evening. Um, we are meeting tonight for Feet to Faith team and group um, meeting on Cincy Club. Um, wanted to kind of chat about the ins and outs, um, different perks uh, of Cincy Club. If you are brand new, what is Cincy Club? Um, just kind of go over, over everything and how it ties in to, let me change my view. Okay. I like looking at more than just a couple of y'all while I'm talking. Um, how it ties into our um, new level of our incentive. So there are a lot of new faces on here. I'm so excited to see you guys. Thank you for hopping on some old faces. It's always good to see you guys too. So um, if you guys have any questions while I'm talking, just drop it into the chat. I'll try not to squirrel too much because I do not pay for Zoom and I only have 40 minutes. I don't have that much to talk about but I want to stay focused um, and honor y'all's time and mine as well. So um, before we get started, I just kind of wanted to tell you guys my stats with Cincy Club so you guys know that what I'm saying is it's working, okay? Um, so I want you guys, I'm not bragging, I'm just letting you guys know. I currently have 33 subscribers with Cincy Club. Now it will go up and down um, because whenever I do have clubbers, they do join. So that's really a, um, a stepping stone. And I'll talk about that of when somebody is a Cincy clubber, they are your VIPs. They are your very best customers. And you eventually want to not convince, you want them to see the benefit of them getting paid off of their club, if anything. So um, I do have 33 subscribers and 18 ran this month, um, but it's not including mine. I do have one that runs monthly. Okay. Um, just oh, make sure you guys are muted if you're hopping on. Okay. Um, so just so you guys know, there's kind of um, some validity in what I'm saying. So um, number one, if you are not talking about Cincy Club, you are not going to grow Cincy Club. You have to talk about Cincy Club, okay? So let's talk about what Cincy Club is really quick. I know we have some brand new people on here. So Cincy Club is our, um, our subscription program that we have within Cincy. Um, it is the only subscription program that we have within Cincy, and it is fantastic. Uh, we did not have it when I joined in 2016. Now, off the top of my head, I can't even think about what year we started it, but I didn't even buy in to starting my own club until like a year and a half of into us starting. And then I was like, hey, this thing actually is pretty cool. So what Cincy Club is, it is a uh, subscription program for anybody to get consumable Cincy products. Consumable meaning the stuff that runs out. Now you're not going to be able to get a warmer. You're not going to be able to get diffusers. You're not going to be able to get uh, the uh, mini fans, wall fans, anything like that. You're only able to get consumable products that people are going to need refills with. You're going to be able to get wax, uh, pods, laundry, cleaning, cotton cleanups, whiff boxes, exclusive bricks. We'll talk about that, but you can get all of that in Cincy Club. Okay. Um, so that is the biggest thing with Cincy Club. Now, these things that people are already purchasing these consumables they're already purchasing, if they don't want to have a party, that's fine. You need to have a club. Why? Because at $30, you can get 10% off. Easy peasy. You don't have to have a party to get that. And then at $60, you have the 10% off and a half off item. Okay. They get to pick every one, two, or three months, which however often they want their subscription to run, they get to choose and they can skip a shipment one time a year. Okay, now that is an annual year. So if it's like, it doesn't start over in January. Okay, so if they skip it, say their club started in April, um, that will go through to next April. So they can only skip it one time within that annual year of when they have started it. Um, so that is what Cincy Club is. Uh, my number one thing, like I said, if you're not talking about Cincy Club, you're not going to grow your Cincy Club subscription. And my number one tip is how to grow it and how to talk about it is to have your own Cincy Club. 
You have to have your own Scentsy Club. I don't care if there's one bar in there. I don't care if you just get it for the whiff box. I don't care if you just get a thing of cotton cleanups. You need to be your best customer. And the only way that you can talk about it and you know, rant on about it and all the perks and know everything ins and outs and share it is if you have one. Okay. Um, so I put here, nothing in this business is going to magically grow. Um, so you have to have those conversations. Okay. Um, you have to have those conversations, uh, that you are having with those customers that you have built and nurtured those relationships because these people who join you with Cincy Club are your VIPs and they are the people who know, like, and trust you, okay? They're, they haven't joined your team yet. They might not ever join your team. I don't even know. Some people in my club are going to be clubbers forever. I'm convinced they're just, they're just going to sit there and keep on keeping on spending all the Cincy money and not getting paid for it. That's fine. But you need to make sure that you have a relationship with them because they are going to know, like, and trust you. And that is why they're going to join Cincy Club with you, okay? Um, I want you guys to remember that in this business, you are the expert. So act like the expert. You are the Cincy consultant. You are the independent Cincy consultant. If you are, and I feel like a lot of times people get in this mindset that people don't take you seriously in your business, Okay. And we all have that, that thought process. If you feel like that, then that is completely normal. Some days I wake up and I'm like, I've almost been doing this seven years. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Nobody knows that, but you, nobody's in your head, but you, okay. You are the expert. You are the one that is selling the products. You are the one using the products. So make sure that you act like the expert that you are. You know, this stuff, you use this stuff, share it like you, you know it and you use it every single day of your life. Um, so be confident in that. That's one thing people can't take away from you. You sell Cincy for a reason. You probably started selling Cincy because you love the products itself, okay? Act like the expert that you are. Um, take your business seriously and others will take you seriously as well. Um, I already said this, in order to share it best, you need to have your own club, okay? It is a tax write-off. So every single month, two months or three months, whenever your subscription runs, You'll be able to pull that at the, the next time of the year if you owe, um, this is not about taxes, but you will get a 1099 with Cincy if you make over $600, okay? If you're brand new, my prayers are that you make over $600, but you will get a 1099. This is a real business, okay? I quit my teaching job for this. This is, this is how I feed my family. Um, it is a tax write-off, okay? So you can pull that easily when it's tax time in your uh, workstation. but know that it is a tax write-off for you. Um, Cincy Club is guaranteed PRV every single month that you do not have to think about. You do have to put the work in to get the clubbers. You have to put the work in to keep the clubbers, keep those relationships going. It is residual income, okay? You don't have to think about the, I don't have to think about the 18 clubs that are running this month. I don't, I've already done the work and I do the work to take care of them, but they're already there. Okay. That's why club is so good. That PRV just comes in. You look at your, your uh, workstation, you look underneath Cincy club and you're like, oh my goodness, this is how many I have running this month. This is great. And you can dive in and you can see the PRV and all of that. Um, so why not build your Cincy club? So it helps you with PRV. I know we all need the help with PRV we can get, right? Because sometimes, you know, you might ask 55 people and they don't want free and half off Scentsy, okay? This is one thing to give you a breath of fresh air and be like, okay, well, this is how many clubs I have. Okay, this is what my goal is. This is where I need to, you know, meet, meet in the middle. This is how much more PRV I need because I have this already coming in from club. Um, so the biggest thing uh, before, well, before. I have a ton of notes. I lied when I said I don't have a ton of notes. Okay, y'all just bear with me. Know and share the perks. Know the perks like the back of your hand. Every single conversation that you have with customers, you should be talking about Scentsy Club, okay? Um, it takes people, I think the research is seven to eight times to be exposed to something to jump on the idea, okay? 
You might think that you're being annoying. You might think that you're saying too much about Cincy Club. I promise you they're not. They're probably not listening to you. They probably haven't heard you or seen you or done any of the things the other seven times you said it, and then the eighth time it's going to click, okay? Some of my very best customers, I said to them probably upwards of 10 times, why do you not just join Cincy Club? They're like, well, then I'll be a real addict. And I'm like, yes, but like you need to get a discount all the time when you purchase. Um, and I think the biggest thing too is they don't realize that that consumable, they can go in and change it. It shoots them an email the month that their subscription is going to run and they can change the stuff in there. The only thing that they can't change if they want a bar forever and ever for always get my bar, they cannot take it out. And then it will prompt them that that bar is not available anymore. I just had a customer do this other day. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't have magic in my veins. And since he doesn't listen to me, if the bar is no longer there, it will prompt them. And it literally has a bar with like a arrow around it to let them know that it is no longer um, that it's on the always get my bar thing. But other than that, they can change everything. They can change the counter clean uh, scent. They can change the brick scent. I go in mine every single month and I switch between, for the half off items, I switch between a brick scent and the air, fil uh, the air purifier filter. That's what I get for my half offs. You can go in and change it at any time. A lot of people don't think that they can do that, but if they're buying anyways, they might as well just get it for club with the 10% off and the half off item. Um, so huge benefit for them joining club. Do they know that they can get all those discounts? Do they know about the 10% off? Do they know about the half, the half off item? A lot of people love Scentsy, but they don't have the money to buy Scentsy. And if they don't listen to you about joining, they don't listen to you about hosting a party. Guys, I never hosted a party. I was asked when I was a customer for two and a half years, I literally even got booby trapped with like a, like a, like a makeup bag of testers. And I left it at my apartment. I did not bring it to work. I was like, I'm not sharing this with people. Like, I don't want that out of this. I just want my house to smell good. So some people, it's just not for them. And then I joined two and a half years later. I went on her website and I pressed join and I texted her and said, I joined now what? Okay. Some people are just like that. I'm very stubborn and I'm set in my ways. And that's just what I wanted to do. People are like that club is a great thing for them. They don't even have to talk to you about club. They can go on your website. They can go to the link that um, you share with them and they can figure it all out on their own. Um, all right. So who should be in club? Like I said, anybody who likes to save money, which I think is everybody right now. Everybody likes to save money. Can I get an amen on that? Share club with everybody. It's not something that's exclusive to your VIPs, even though the people who are buying from you a lot are going to see the most beneficial uh, or most benefits of that. But anybody, anybody would love club. They just have, they, you got to talk about it. Okay. Um, so let's talk about how I take care of my clubbers really quick. So I am by no means telling you guys that you have to go out and start doing happy mail because you heard me say it. I am not saying that. When I started, when club started and I started getting clubbers, I did not do happy mail for them. Okay. Now, majority of my business is ran online. So I do happy mail for them every month that their subscription runs. Okay. So I am not sending out mail to all 33 subscribers every single month. I look at my workstation, I look underneath the orders and then the Scentsy Club and I see who's is running that month. That is, the, those are the only people that I send happy mail to that month. Now, there is kind of a, a glitch with that too. I have to go in and click people because some people will skip a month and it does not tell me that until I drill into their thing. If they skip a month, I don't send them mail. Like, Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry you skipped it, but I'm not sending you mail for skipping it, right? I'm not getting PRV for that month, so I'm not sending you mail. It's no, no hard feelings. That's just what I do. Uh, and they know that. They know that they get happy mail, exclusive happy mail for me when their subscription runs. Now, what do I send in that? It's not anything really, really crazy bougie. It is L usually LTO samples. So this past go round um, for this month, 
and I'll be posting all this so you guys can see it too. Um, I had just a Canva, the Mother's Day. I think I shared this in Feet to Faith. The Mother's Day, two samples. I had the brick samples on a very similar thing that I shared in Feet to Faith with the five brick samples. I did a cotton cleanup, um, some candy, and then a thank you flyer that I made in Canva. That was it. Okay. Now that is on the extravagant end because it is going to be thick because of that cotton cleanup and that candy that I put in there. So it's not going to be a flat mail out. You could do something as simple as a text. You could do something as simple as a scent of the month flyer with a scratch and smell sticker. You could do something as simple as a scent circle that is flat, which is going to be one stamp for you. If it's thick, it's going to be an expensive mail out. But you can do something very, very simple just to, just to make them feel special and make them feel exclusive. Something I also do in my VIP page, if you guys don't have a VIP page on Facebook, I highly recommend doing one, a private VIP page that consultants are not allowed to be a part of, okay? As soon as people join my team, they are immediate, as soon as I get that welcome email, they are taken out, okay? They are taken out because they've been a customer of mine and they see how I run my VIP page. I'm not doing anything that is out of compliance on there. I'm not doing anything crazy, but that is for my customers, okay? Every single time I send out happy mail or I send out club mail, I do like a sneak peek in my VIP page because I want them to get FOMO. I want the people to think, wow, I'm not a part of club, but I want to be a part of club because I want that happy mail. I put it in my stories for the same reason for people who might not be clubbers, might not be customers, um, same type of thing. Um, and the most important thing, like I said, please don't spend a lot of money on it. Spend Cincy money on Cincy. Do not spend family money on Cincy. If, you're, if your business does not allow for you to do that, don't worry about it. A simple thank you text, a thank you shout out on Facebook is a very long way, okay? Just recognize people for buying from you. Say thank you. It goes a really, really long way. Um, keep it simple and keep it duplicatable for when you have a lot of clubbers, okay? Because if you're going to put these tips into place, you're going to start seeing, seeing what's happening. What what comes when have when you have a lot of clubbers, okay? But what you do for one, two, three, four, five, make sure you can do it when you have thirty five, okay? Don't overcomplicate it. Thank you, Alex Griff. My brain just it doesn't work sometimes. Make sure it's duplicatable, and make sure you can teach your teamies to do the same thing. If you have teammates, you don't want it to be complicated. You don't want people to think that they can't do it, okay? Um, we're all business owners. We're all independent Cincy consultants. You can do whatever you want to do. So find what works best for you. Just make sure you keep it simple. Simplicity is one of our core values with Cincy. Um, okay. So clubbers are usually your VIPs who eventually need to be getting paid for their addiction. Like I told you guys, um, a lot of times my club will go up and down because people who are Cincy clubbers will end up joining my team. Now, what happens with that, if you do have somebody join your team, Cincy's system will recognize that the same emails are used for a Cincy Club account with a consultant account. They will go ahead and merge them over. You don't have to do anything on your end. We used to have to. We used to have to contact um, consultant support or whatever and let them know to move it over, but it, it goes ahead and does that by itself. So don't think, um, that you will have to do anything super, super complicated with that. Um, and also don't be scared of losing PRV. Okay. If somebody's a customer and then they join club and then they're like, oh, but I want to join your team. It's okay. You can always get new clubbers. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. share club info with everything so you guys know, you should know, if you do not know, now you know, you should have everything labeled. Everything that leaves you, that is Scentsy, needs to be labeled, okay? It needs to have your name on it. It needs to have your website on it. And it needs to have maybe your phone number if you want that too. So I'm going to show you guys some of my labels. Um, and this is very strategic 
because if I was to hand somebody, so say I have a couple of these in my diaper bag, say that I'm at Walmart and somebody comments on the funny buddy clip that is on Zane's diaper bag. And then I'm like, oh, you like Scentsy and we just start talking. If I hand them a catalog that is in my book bag that does not have any information on it, they're not going to have any idea who to contact in Leland. Okay. My labels, I print these myself. I use Avery labels. Um, so there's a couple that I use. Um, there's some that are the return address labels that are the smaller ones. These are the two by four, or four by two, whatever. But I have my link tree QR code and I make these on Canva for free. Okay. I have my link tree. If you do not have link tree, I highly recommend getting that too. It's free. Um, it's here. Let's see. Um, let me look it up so I can put it in the chat for you guys. But Linktree is free. If you go on my Instagram or my Facebook and look in my bio, my um my URL that is in my bio. When I say link in bio, oh geez, that is um, let's see what that looks like. When y'all click on that, what does it do? <laughs> it's a really long URL. Does it pull you guys to the normal page? Because it's like, okay, there you go. That's no linker. I don't know. Just Google link tree. Okay. It's free. Um, you don't have, I don't, I do not pay for a very fancy background and buttons to be very fancy. You can, if you want to, I don't pay for it. It just allows you to have different links all together in a list. So you can have multiple links for people to shop, okay? So when you pull up my link tree, it'll have um, my PWS on there. It'll have a Scentsy Club one on there. It'll be, um, it'll say, do you want to join my team, join my team or something? Um, it'll have my YouTube on there. Um, it has my VIP page on there. So it just directs different links for people. So when they see a catalog, for example, that's why I was showing that to you guys. This goes straight to my um, my Scentsy Club link. So it says, scan me to shop, join club, make money, join my VIP page, okay? Um, when people are directed to what you want them to see, that's when you're gonna see the results. So you need to be putting it in front of their face a lot. Um, any order that I'm dropping off or happy mail that I do, I put a Scentsy Club flyer in there made this on Canva. I have shared this in Feet to Faith. If you guys need to just go in there and edit it, make it your own. It's free. Okay. Um, I put it on my thank you flyer and on the back of it, it talks about club. It talks about the benefits. Um, send circles. It's on my label. Um, these that I have the, um, the rack cards with the rub and smell stickers. It talks about club at the bottom. I shared this in um, Feet to Faith as well too. So just look in Feet to Faith. There's a ton of different things in there. Um, but I like to put that information in people's faces all the time. So they can't say that I didn't tell them about it. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Okay, so top tips. I'm doing great on Great on time. Lisa, with the rack cards, I actually had to, I had to get Canva to print these for me. I couldn't get them to print correctly. And this paper is actually really good, like sturdy paper. Um, but I sent them to Canva and then they mailed them to me because I couldn't get them to print correctly either. So I don't, I don't really know what was going on with that situation. Um, so top tips. Um, I already said it takes somebody roughly seven times being exposed to something to do it. So like I said before, you might think you're being annoying by talking about club all the time, but keep bringing it up. Keep bringing it up to people, okay? Keep talking about it and they will eventually start asking questions, okay? Something that I like to do, and I have to remind myself to do it more, um, when you are talking to people about Sensi. Um, start with hosting. So start with them getting free and half off. Fall back on Scentsy Club. So you don't want to host. Okay. You don't have many friends, but you probably do. Okay. You don't want to do that. You're Amber. You're Amber Ryan. You don't want to do that. Okay. So why don't you join Scentsy Club? 
because you can still get 10% off and you can get a half off item. Okay, you don't wanna do that. Okay, you just wanna order. Okay, that's fine. So start with hosting, fall back on Cincy Club and then fall back on an order, okay? But if you're talking more about, okay, instead of just accepting an order, okay, well, do you want that free and half off? Okay, well, what about club? You know, unless it was like a warmer and a diffuser. And then you're like, okay, well, we're going to get that free and half off anyways. You can't put that in club. But if it was consumable products, you could 100% put that in a club subscription. Um, also, what I like to remind people, there's no obligation with Scentsy or Scentsy Club. You do not have to pay for it to sign up and you can cancel anytime. It's not like one of those programs that you're stuck and you are like in an automated system and you're like, oh my gosh, what did I sign up for? I didn't read the fine print and I shouldn't have pressed. I agree to all terms and conditions. There's no fine print, okay? They can cancel anytime if they don't wanna do it anymore. Unfortunately, we'll not let you know until you're like looking at your people and you're like, where did they go? And then you reach out and they're like, eh, just canceled, okay? But they can cancel anytime. Um, doo -doo -doo, I already talked about that. Okay, how does this tie into the current incentive level? So the current incentive level that we just started, okay, so the first incentive level, the, um, the team one is still going on. That is going until July 31st. That level is building your team. So getting two new people to join your team, getting them just certified. That's the first level. Second level just started on April 1st. It is building your Cincy Club, okay? Three new Cincy Club subscribers. They cannot be already have been or are Cincy Clubbers. Um, the system will recognize that same email. If it's a different email, that's fine, okay? But if it's the same email, the system will recognize it and it will not um, count towards this incentive. Um, so between April 1st and May 31st, three new Cincy Club subscribers that their club order is $50 after rewards are added, okay? So if it's $50 and then the 10% off and the half off, it's not gonna count, okay? So it's gotta be a pretty hefty club order for it to count, but it is $50 or more after all discounts are applied, okay? Um, so that's three people, like I said, until May 31st. And then there is a weighted blanket, a weighted Scentsy blanket. If you guys have not seen it yet, there is a picture on your workstation under the incentive tab. And it is pretty, it is Scentsy, and I am obsessed with blankets and I'm really excited to earn that. Um, the first level is the, is the Canva tote that is also very on trend right now. So if you want to go see those, they are on um, workstation incentive tab. There's pictures. Um, Okay, so do you guys have any questions before I give you guys a challenge? Because that's what I do. I did a really good job at keeping that very short and simple. But if you have any questions, just put them in the chat. I'll, I'll spend the next like two minutes answering any questions if you have any about Cincy Club. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the more you talk about it, the... Um, the easier it becomes, okay? And you're gonna have conversations where people are gonna ignore you and they're not gonna wanna join club and that's fine. Just don't get in your head about it. It's not, it's not a you problem. I can absolutely share the flyers again. Let me write myself a reminder, share. Flyers. Okay. Perfect. And I actually, um, to those are the Canva links, I'll share this, but I did make a Google Drive so you guys have access to some images too. Also on Workstation, if you go under the marketing tab and you do, I think it's like search all content or something like that, if you just put in Cincy Club, some images will pop up. Um, like if you wanted to put like a little logo in something, um, it's there for you on workstation, but all right. Are y'all ready for a challenge? Everyone looks so excited. I got two thumbs up from Jen. Okay. Jen is so pumped. All right, here we go. So what I want you guys to do, who, who uses Canva currently? 
Okay. If you do not use Canva, you are going to learn how to be a master with Canva. Okay. So right there, I just put it in the chat. Canva. Okay. It is free. There is a pro version. You do not need a pro version. I pay for a pro version um, because it's a tax write-off and I use Canva for everything now, but you do not have to have a pro version. Okay. Um, so you're going to go on Canva and you're going to create your very own club flyer. Okay. You are going to create your very own club flyer. And I'm going to tell you guys this right now. You will hear me if you have not heard me say it before. Authenticity speaks volumes in this business. Volumes. Okay. I don't care if you guys use this flyer. That's why I share the stuff with you guys. But I want you guys to step out of your comfort zone and know that you can create your own. Okay. You can look at mine. You can look at other people's and copy this, right? You can do something very similar, but I want you guys to make it your own. So like, if you look at mine, you're like, okay, Amber always uses those neutral colors. I always use the same fonts. What colors do you use? Okay. I'm like really into hot pink now. I don't know what's going, getting in with me. I'm usually black and tan. Hot pink is my jam right now. So that's in a lot of my newer stuff. I don't, I don't really know what's going on, but I guess there we go. Alex being bright and loud. Um, but so I want you to go on there and I want you to create your own. Okay. That's not the only challenge. I want number two. Okay. Number two, I know tomorrow is good Friday. So I'm not saying you have to do this tomorrow. Okay. I want you to go in your stories. You're not going to die. Listen to me. You're not going to die. I want you to go in your story. And I want you to do this. I want you to say, Amber's telling me to do this and I'm just going to press go, okay? And you're going to talk to nobody because nobody's there. And you're going to talk about Cincy Club and you're probably going to like want to punch me and cry all at the same time, but you're going to talk about Cincy Club and you're going to talk about the perks, okay? You are going to talk about the perks and you're going to own them. Okay, this is what you're also going to do in that same story when you're done talking about it. When you are in your story, and I'm going to do Instagram because this is, I, I do everything from Instagram. So say that I'm in my story, okay? I'm taking a picture of myself or I'm taking a picture of y'all because that's what's on there, okay? Um, I'm going up here to this little like sticky note dude. You see him? Well, I guess he's sticking out. He's beside the alphabet. And then it pulls up a bunch of options, okay? There's an option on there and it says link. This is how you embed a link into your story. And this is super important. People can watch you talk all day long on there and usually they're gonna watch you talk more so than seeing a flyer. Okay, they want to hear what you have to say. Even, remember, I said you're the expert. Act like the expert. Link, okay, link. All you do is go to your Safari or Google Chrome, whatever, copy and paste the link right there and customize sticker text once you have the link in there. And you can say join club here or more info here or what did I say earlier? Join the best smelling club here. I don't, I don't know. I say some crazy stuff. But then it embeds, here, let's see, Amber, I'll just do, how am I doing on time? Where am I? Okay, I got five minutes. Amber will be the Cincy Club, yes. Okay, customize, so join club here. Then it embeds a link directly into whatever your story was. That's how you do that, okay? So you're gonna go live in your story. You're gonna go live in your story and you're not gonna die. April, I see you looking at me like that. You're gonna embed a link, okay? And then all I want you to do, I want you to screenshot and I want you to put it in feet to faith to shout yourself out that you did not die. And we're gonna all cheer you on, okay? I know you guys are really mad at me right now and it's okay, but listen to me. Nothing grows out of staying in your comfort zone. And I 
have been talking to this phone for almost seven years and I still get scared sometimes. And then I'm like, crap. And then I got to delete it. And then I just go back and forth. Okay. So put your kids in it. If you need to put your dog in it, if you need to, there you go. You can do that. Perfect. I, I put my son in everything. If you guys do not follow me on Facebook, he is in everything. So, um, okay. That's it. That's it. And then with your Canva flyer that you make, I want you guys to use that in your VIP pages. I want you to use it in customer emails. I want you to use it in mail outs in, um, when you're dropping off orders, um, share it in feed to faith, any, to any, and the point behind that too, is when you're using Canva, it's really, it's scary at first because it's a blank slate and you're like, I don't know what to do. But once you start making stuff, you kind of get in your groove. Like I have three fonts that I go between. I always use the same fonts. I have like four colors that I use out of all these things that are there. Um, it's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, and you can make a lot of different things. Um, and it's fun to be authentic too. So, all right. That is it. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.